Hi, Sarah. Welcome to our Hub Creative Talks interview series. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, good. So let's tell our audience like a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so um, my name is Sarah Catherine. I'm a singer-songwriter from Mississauga. Um, I started writing music pretty recently, so maybe like in 2020. Um, and I also produce all my own music, which is one of my favorite parts. Um, and yeah, I'm just very excited because I've been, I released my first EP last year um, and I write mostly like sad pop songs. So it's pretty exciting and I get to explore with like different types of music. I would say I'm a songwriter first. Um, that's my favorite part of music. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Of course. So you're like an independent artist, right? Mm -hmm. So you're recording all of your songs, I heard in your car, <laughs> and independently writing, recording, and choosing all your own music. So tell us a little bit about that process. Are you still recording in your car? <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, so I started recording in my car because originally it was like the most quiet, like alone space I could find in my, in my house because I have like, family of five. So I just went to the car, like in the garage, and that's kind of where I would like write my music and record it and also like record TikToks and things like that. Mm -hmm. So then it kind of just became like my my studio. Um, and it actually has some pretty good sound because it is like a smaller space. So now it's kind of just where I record out of habit. Um, I don't know, maybe one day I'll record at a studio, but I'm like reluctant to because I like the car. But yeah, in terms of like the writing and producing, um, so I started writing and then what I found was it was very difficult to release music without being able to produce the music yourself. I was kind of scared to like reach out and work with the producer. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just watched like a few YouTube videos and learned some of it on my own and now I produce my own music. And I wouldn't say I'm I'm a pr like a professional, but it's, it's good for like what I want. And then it allows me to kind of like have 100% ownership of my music, which is something that's important to me. So you're definitely very resourceful <laughs> in all of this. So you mentioned that you've been posting like TikTok videos and you started in like 2020. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose TikTok as a platform to like start showcasing your music? Yeah, so I started um, actually posting a couple of covers like of other songs on TikTok and I saw a lot of like small musicians really blow up at that time because that was like when the pandemic had started and TikTok was like really at its peak of, of growth um, and there were a lot of artists who were unsigned and just posting their music and then they ended up getting like signed by big labels. I decided that I'm going to just try to write songs because I'd never really tried before and then I just kind of started posting on there and I also found like for me TikTok was separate from like my personal life social media because it was kind of at that moment I decided I wanted to like release music and things like Instagram, Facebook, like those are my personal platforms and I wasn't ready yet to share that with everyone I know mm -hmm. versus on TikTok I didn't really have anyone that I knew except for like some close friends so I was excited to just kind of post to people who have no idea who I am um, and then I kind of just kept posting and got it got more focused to original music mm -hmm. um, and yeah I definitely think TikTok is a huge reason as to why I'm still creating music because it really allows me to connect with an audience again that like I never would have met if it wasn't for the platform mm -hmm. so I owe a lot of like a lot of my listeners do come from TikTok so I'm really glad that I started there. Yeah, so and let's touch on like your debut EP. EP. So thank you for the content which came out last year. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about creating that and the process for you? Yeah, so it started um, with my first single that came out on it called I'd Be Dead Too. Mm -hmm. And that was the first video on TikTok I'd say that went like kind of viral. Mm -hmm. um, and I had posted like the bridge of the song which was a pretty like emotional, sad part. Um, and then that's when I realized like how um, powerful like sad music is and that was always like some of my favorite music to listen to is sad music and sad lyrics like it just it's fun to like feel emotional and like listen to a song um, but I, I figured like you can really connect with a lot of people and a lot of people go through similar experiences so from that song I kind of decided like I had a few other songs I had written and then I decided it would be fun to work on like an actual project where everything's kind of cohesive and works together mm -hmm. um, and actually when I very first started writing music like at 2020 like the first song I wrote and I would just write these like random little songs I put them in a folder on my computer and I called it thank you for the content and I said if I ever release like an EP or an album not thinking that I ever would even show anyone these songs um, I was like I'll call it thank you for the content because it's like 
kind of funny and a little bit petty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So then I just um, started with that song and then worked on the other ones. Um, and it was really fun. Again, it was like all written and produced by me. I actually had a friend though who did help with the guitar on one of the songs, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, but it was really fun to work on like something like that. and very exciting to like build up to it and release it. So mm -hmm. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Nice. So you said that you're inspired by like sad songs and things like that. Is there any specific artists that come to mind that you're inspired by in particular? Yes. Yeah, so very, very inspired by Taylor Swift for mm -hmm. sure. Um, especially in her songwriting style. So something that I like to do a lot and I don't really even do it on purpose, but it's just kind of how I write is I like to like set like a story or like a stage and kind of be like very descriptive in the lyrics as if like you're reading like a book or something and it's telling you about like the room that you're in. Mm -hmm. So I try to be very descriptive with things and that's something I learned definitely from Taylor Swift, um, which is really fun. And I would say also around that time was when it was actually a little bit before Olivia Rodrigo's driver's license came out when I started writing, but I had been kind of following her songwriting that she would just post on Instagram. Um, and she's also a very big Taylor Swift fan. So she was kind of also inspiring me to continue writing. And then of course when driver's license came out and like it kind of reintroduced sad music to like the pop scene. Um, that kind of pushed me as well to, to continue working on what I was interested in. You recently were nominated for a Tony Chuchu Marty Award in the Emerging Solo Vocals category. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, that was a really cool experience. Um, I was very, very honored to be selected as one of the finalists and so excited to even just attend the Marty's because it was my first party ever and I was so glad that I was in person and we got to like see everyone. It was very much an honor because I, I never really consider myself like a singer. I liked singing when I grew up, but I never thought like my voice would be good enough to like be a singer or anything. So when I started writing music, that's why I always kind of say like, I'm a songwriter first because I do love songwriting. And like, that's like where I feel like I get to be very creative and I love singing. I just never thought like, my voice is good enough to be a singer on its own. So I was just so like pleasantly so, like happy to be one of the finalists in that category um, and to be recognized like for singing because it is something I've always loved to do. It's just not something I like saw myself as like that great in. <laughs> but yeah, it was really good. Yeah, well, definitely we saw you at that. So. <laughs> um, so you have a new single coming out yes. so titled If You Want To, If You Would, coming up June 24. Can you tell us more about the song? Yeah, so that one, um, I'm really, really excited about this song because it's a little bit different from my other music. It's a little bit more like upbeat and but angry versus like the kind of sad style I usually go for. Um, and this one I had also shared a snippet on TikTok as well. And it actually did even better than my very first one that kind of went viral. So it's always exciting like when something goes big on TikTok before you release it because then people are like excited for it and they're asking about it. Um, so this one I'm very excited and it's very much about um, like the title is If You Wanted To You Would. So it's kind of just like reminding the listener um, that a lot of the times if people want to do something, they will do it. And then coming up with all these excuses and things are probably not true. Um, but yeah, I, it's a fun song because it's very, I find it's probably very relatable to a lot of people. Um, and it's definitely something I've experienced. So it's like a message that I need to hear. <laughs> so I wrote it for other people as well. <laughs> So what does the future look like for you? Do you have any other upcoming projects you want to mention? Yeah, so this, of course, If You Wanted To Be Wood is coming out June 24th. Um, I also have another single that I'm working on that will hopefully come out soon as well. I don't have a date yet, but probably in the next few months. And then I'm thinking about maybe working on another EP because um, in this break that I've had since my last EP, I've written, I write like every day. <laughs> So I have a lot of songs, um, but I have to like figure out which ones I want and like what makes sense for the project. But I am thinking of working on another EP. Um, so that's always exciting, probably in like the fall again. Yeah. Great. So where can people find you? Like what was your website and if you have one or social media channels? Yeah, so I have Instagram and TikTok. That's usually where I'm most active. Mm -hmm. um, and my username is the same on both of them. It's just underscore Sarah Catherine. Uh, but Catherine with two A's. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's where I post the most. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. This is great. Mm.